We're finally going back down to where we should be for this time of year. No more record 80 degree temperature days. No more widespread showers, thunderstorms, although we could use some rain, but Look at this clear skies, calm winds, no more 30 mile per hour wind gusts either. So great. How long is it going to last? Well, we have to wait until that next frontal system comes through. Really the guilty part of this. Well, look at that high pressure right out San Angelo. That's what's given us nice clear skies. A little bit of cloud cover trying to make it in from the panhandle. Talking about Lubbock and Midland, Texas out there, but nice clear skies, calm winds. Winds are coming right now from the north. That's what's keeping our air nice and cool for now. Currently 63 degrees here in downtown Temple. It's also Thursday. You know what that means? Drought monitor came out. Well, it's basically unchanged. Not much has really changed compared to last week, but well, we got some rain yesterday. Well, actually the drought monitor it's released on Thursday. The data is taken every Tuesday. So worst conditions are going to be west of the I-35 corridor heading down to the Brazos Valley, actually entirely clear of drought conditions, but any kind of rain we can get, we could certainly go for it overnight tonight. Well, we're talking about increasing cloud cover, but winds are going to start to pick up just a little bit, so it's still going to be on the cooler end of the spectrum. We're talking lots of those mid to upper 30s along the northern half of the viewing area, low to mid 40s for the southern half of the viewing area going into tomorrow actually going to be colder than what we're seeing today. You're probably wondering, well, why is that? The cold front came through yesterday. Well, it's actually because well, we have a lot of that cloud cover. Cloud cover during the overnight keeps us warm. Cloud cover during the day keeps us cool. No sun to really heat up the ground. So we're going to be maxing out in those 50s for the most part. Mid to upper 50s. 56 is what I have for Temple tonight or tomorrow. That is well. Here we go. Lots of that cloud cover starting to come in. You can already start to see that next frontal system slowly sneaking into the panhandle. Then winds are going to continue to push in from the east, resulting in a couple isolated showers more so into our Saturday morning. Nothing on the severe side, so that is certainly going to be some good news. Couple little showers. I don't think any of us are going to complain. And of course, on top of it, we don't have any chances for severe weather. We just have that general thunderstorm outlook, most of which just staying well to the southeast, talking about the Brazos Valley. That's going going to be about it. But your six news seven day plan are always a weekend forecast heading into the weekend. Look at that only down to about 40%. So yeah, rain chances unfortunately are going down, but you know what? As long as we can get something, I'm not going to complain. Temperatures slowly increase. Then we have another front that's going to start to come through on Tuesday. This front on Tuesday is going to be a little bit different. So the front on Saturday, that's a Pacific front. It's going to actually bring a little bit of that rain. Now the one on Tuesday, it's coming from the northwest. That should be bringing it down temperatures a little bit more, but also increasing our potential for more rain.